Good morning to one and all. Lenticonos. Beware of it. A 14 years old boy, presented with gradual, progressive, diminution of vision in both eyes, of four years duration, with history of frequent change of glasses. On examination, vision in the right eye, was counting fingers at 3 meters, with pinhole improvement, 6 by 36, and left eye, counting fingers at 3 meters, with pinhole improvement, 6 by 18. He improved in right eye, with correction of minus 7 dioptospherical, 6 by 36 and left eye, minus 4 dioptospherical, 6 by 18. On, a scan, axial length 22 mm. On thorough anterior segment evaluation, under slit lamp with oblique illumination, we found out, central conical protrusion of anterior capsule at the lens, that is anterior lenticonus, in the left eye, and also in the right eye. Posterior capsule is normal. On distant direct ophthalmoscopy, there was oil droplet sign. On further evaluation, patient gives history of deafness. Based on these findings, we suspected Alport syndrome. Routine blood investigations, patient has gross hematuria, dimorphic anemia, increased blood urea and creatinine. Increased blood potassium and chloride levels, suggestive of chronic renal failure. Ultrasound abdomen shows left side renal agenesis and right side grade 2 renal parenchymal disease. We subjected patient to PTA pure tone audiometry. found out to be bilateral moderately severe sensory neural hearing loss. This triad, anterior lenticonus, sensory neural hearing loss, and necropathy, we diagnosed it as Alport syndrome. In our case, there was renal agenesis, which is a rare association. Other ocular manifestations, which are Dot fleck retinopathy and corneal polymorphous dystrophy were absent in our patient. In 1927, Dr. Cecil Alport described three generations of family with combination of progressive hereditary nephritis, deafness, and ocular abnormality, more specifically anterior lenticonus. It has prevalence of 1 in 5,000 people, 85% X-linked form. Main abnormality is deficient synthesis of type 4 collagen, main component of basement membrane. Be aware of it. Any young male patient with curvatural myopia, look for lenticonus. Don't neglect. It can be associated with Alport syndrome, Wardenburg syndrome, Marfan syndrome, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Thank you all.